all of you. Take a deep breath. in my life. I've been forced against my will out of motherhood. I've been robbed of my livelihood and my most valuable possession. I'm uncomfortable conversing with others about my life experiences due to the past few years revolving around providing the best life I could for Ryan and Maddox. I've lost my home. I've lost my job. I've lost many people I consider family. And I'm talking about your family. Because of your actions. I now am suffering from anxiety and depression because of losing Max and all the drastic changes I'm facing, such as my housing situation. Ryan Lawrence's actions have left me unbearably heartbroken. I'm dumbfounded by the audacity of his to make such an uneducated decision on the behalf of everyone in Maddox's life. Any one of our family members or friends would have gladly taken her from you if you had just told her that you were feeling you were going to harm her. answers or closure. Ryan has not only taken my daughter away, but also abandoned me as well, leaving me with feelings of extreme loneliness and sadness. This situation also leaves me questioning my own judgment of others' intentions and their character. Burying my daughter alone was the single most hollowing experience I've ever endured. Knowing that her death was at the hands of a man that I once loved and trusted with our lives shakes me to the core because of what Ryan has done. I can never again be sure that I know someone for who they truly are. Ryan Lawrence's actions have affected the lives of others as well. Maddox was loved by everyone she met. She was strong and inspiring. She's missed greatly by everyone who knew her. And those who are very close to her, such as our family, her heartbroken and outraged. Three of Maddox's aunts are my own sisters. Two of them spent nearly every day with her. And they're both under the age of 13. They're children. They should have never been suspected of this type of person and heart and violence. This situation wears on them during everyday life, ranging from personal pain to comments other children make at school about me. They didn't choose to be plastered all over the news and the internet. This is exposure that our family didn't ask for nor want. My other sister is grown with two children of her own and one on the way. As she watches her children grow, she wonders the same things I do. Her children have as close of a bond as we do. Who would Maddie's have grown to be? What would she look like? What would her talents have been? She mourns, as I do, for her children, who are too young now to understand. I will someday have questions about Maddox. Will they see her pictured in photographs beside them? At that point, like others in our family with small children, She'll have to decide how to deal with that touchy girl. And she chooses to share stories or withhold. These are challenging situations we must, decision, challenging decisions we must all make. 
some of the most affected people aside from myself in this situation are Ryan's brother, Richie, and his wife, Nicole, and their young daughter, Chloe. Two years. For them, standing by me means losing their family members. On top of the couple of all we're facing by losing Maddox and Ryan, Ryan's actions have torn his whole family apart as they argue over supporting for myself through the situation. shaken by Ryan's actions. They've done everything in their power from searching for Maddox while she was missing, to building memorials and helping me rebuild my life. Ryan's act, Ryan Lawrence's actions have affected my financial situation as well. You now find it really difficult to hold a job, making providing the necessities for myself near impossible. I, I can't afford to live on my own, but I find it very difficult to live with others during this trying time. Since February, the police have withheld my vehicle, laptop, my DSLR camera that Ryan had used during his crime. This has hindered me from being able to work as a photographer, causing a larger graph than income and adding emotional strain on me since I use art as a form of de stress. Ryan's actions have also affected my social interactions with old friends, new friends, and even strangers. I'm constantly trying to mention, I'm constantly trying to avoid the mention of Ryan when speaking with old friends. However, almost always that's where the conversation ends up going. While talking to new friends I've met recently after the situation, I'm always questioning if they recognize me. I'm always feeling as I find them. Interactions with strangers are most uncomfortable. Often people stare at me as if they recognize me. Several people have approached me claiming they know me, but they can't place me. I wait patiently while they try to place me, denying all their guesses. I know how they recognize me. They've seen my face on the internet or Nancy Grace. They've heard my voice on the radio. Or saw me on TV begging Ryan to bring medics home safe to me. But I'll never tell them. I long to be myself again, just to be Morgan. I don't want to be identified by Ryan's horrible actions. And I don't want Maddox's life to be identified, like, to be known by her, by her death. Like, I want her to be known for who she was, and I want to be known for the loving mom and wife that I truly was. As a result of Ryan's actions, I. I need for him to spend the rest of his lifetime in prison. I fear for my safety, and I fear for the safety of, safety of others who are always back into the community. He's deceived everyone in his life with ease, and he's betrayed all of us with his actions. He's charismatic and believable when he wants to manipulate a situation in his favor. Before parole board, parole board 25 years from now, he may seem remorseful. He may beg and plead to be released. He may claim to be changed. Please don't be fooled. He's a monster. And I truly do believe he'll kill again if given the chance. Don't give him that chance. This is the most horrible thing I've ever endured in my life. But I want you to know, you will not drag me down. I will rise above this and honor my daughter with my own life. You took Maddox's only chance at life, Ryan. Therefore, you don't deserve another chance at your own.